Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Trending. My name is Buki November and on this show, I give you a roundup of the biggest trending topics on social media and I also tell you exactly why they're trending. So for more trending topics, please visit the Plus TV Africa website or check out our social media handles on Facebook, on Twitter and on Instagram. We are at Plus TV Africa. So before I go further, yeah, remember the now popular saying, Malians don't graduate. Hmm. Well, I thought for sure Naira Mali would trend this week. Imagine my shock when he didn't. So the rapper's Wikipedia page went live during the week and this guy Guy, as life would have it, this 25-year-old has stacks of certificates. First off, he graduated with a distinction in business from Peckham Academy. He then went on to Christ the King Sixth Form College, where he completed his business law. So for all you Malians out there, Malians do graduate. Yeah. Now let's go to our show for the week. <laughs> Our first trending topic is truly, truly a sad one. Now, the terrorist group called Boko Haram trended again, but this time for murdering Reverend Lawan Andimi, the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, in Adamawa State, Nigeria. Andimi was one of the captives of Boko Haram who had been captured since December 2019. It was also reported that the Nigerian, a Nigerian soldier was also killed along with Reverend Andimi. Now, Plus TV Africa discovered that the terrorist group had demanded 800 million naira ransom from Khan and rejected the 50 million naira the group offered instead. Now, according to the article published by Church of the Brethren, on Christmas Eve, well, on Christmas Eve of 2019, 11 Christians, Christian captives in Borno State were beheaded. Also, in December, four abducted aid workers of the International NGO Action Against Hunger were also killed. According to According to the director of Amnesty International Nigeria, Boko Haram followed up the killing of Reverend Lawan Andimi with an attack on the village, on his village in Chibok, local government of Borno State. Now, what makes this extra sad is the fact that I saw the video recorded before his death, and I couldn't help but think that this man might just end up being another statistic. You know, one more person killed by Boko Haram, his family, his wife, his kids, all for the rest of their lives would have to answer or would have to live with the question of why did this happen? Why us? President Buhari reacted to the news in a tweet saying, I am greatly saddened by the fact that the terrorists went on to kill him even while giving signals of a willingness to set him free by releasing him to third parties. The barbarism or this barbarism is condemnable. We will ensure that these terrorists pay a heavy price for their evil actions. Here are more reactions from social media. we will go on a really quick break and when we return i will be bringing you more trending topics from social media stay tuned <laughs> 